Hello guys, Toby here. Today I'm going to present you the results of the deepfake quiz I did a while ago. If you have no idea what I'm talking about, please click this video or the link in the video description and watch the first part of this video series first. So let's get on to the results. But first I want to say thank you to all you guys participating in this quiz. As my YouTube channel is still small, it's quite hard to publish a video that needs quite a lot of engagement of viewers. So thank you for all your guesses. One thing that made me really happy was that a major Austrian newspaper published my quiz as well. Not only online, but they also printed the, the results. So once again, big thanks to you and without further ado, here are the results. Quite a few of you had one or two deepfakes right. Many of you had a lot of false positives. None of you had a perfect guess, so only listing the three deepfakes. And some of you didn't even spot any deepfakes. So overall, I would say you guys had quite the hard time detecting the deepfakes. As I already mentioned, an Austrian newspaper published my quiz as well online. And of course, they got a lot more participants than me. So their results show a much clearer picture. Only 54.6% detected the deepfakes. That's only slightly better than just tossing a coin each time. 59% also had false positives. So they called real videos deepfakes. So I would say that the deepfake technology can be quite convincing. In this quiz you guys were actually looking for deepfakes. So you need to ask yourself if you would have detected any of the free deepfakes if they would have been published in a different circumstance, like in a normal YouTube upload or in a Facebook post. Would you have detected the deepfake there without a quiz? Furthermore, I wouldn't consider myself to be the biggest expert in this field yet. There's still a lot of things I can learn and that I want to try out. For example, those deepfakes I used for the quiz are almost a year old and were one of the first deepfakes I created. Therefore, I can already create better deepfakes than those, because not only my knowledge improved, but also the software got better. Deepface Lab quite improved over the last couple of months. If you had quite a lot of troubles detecting the deepfakes, don't give yourself a hard time. Computer algorithms are not that better. 2019, Facebook, together with other big firms like Microsoft and AVS, created the Deepfake Detection Challenge. The goal was to create a worldwide competition to get researchers and software developers to create algorithms to detect deepfakes. Among other things, a prize pool of $1 million was offered. And the cool thing is that only algorithms that would be published under open source license could get the prize money. Without going into further details, the solution of the winning team won the competition with a detection rate of 65%. About 60% of all the submissions 
only got a detection rate of 50% or less. So that means most of them just provided random results. But still, even 65% is only 15% better than just pure guessing. We are still far away from a reliable method to detect deepfakes. I'm certain that deepfakes will become a big issue in the future and therefore sharing knowledge and creating awareness is really important. If you guys are interested in that, I'm happy to do so. Just write me a comment in the comment section. What do you think about this technology? Do you think that the topic is important? Or do you think that this topic will fade away in a few years? I'm happy to have a little discussion in the comment section. So all I have to say now is thank you for watching, see you soon and have a nice day. Bye and servus.